talking about other forms of water transport, let's take this opportunity to drive over to the continent. And we meant drive, because at Dover, although the famous cliffs overlook the channel, there's a floating roadway in the form of the car ferry. We live in an age of such remarkable technical achievement that we tend to take such apparently simple everyday services like this for granted. Let's take a closer look. On this occasion, the destination is Boulogne. The port of Dover, over 350 years old, was called the Gateway of England long before this service was instituted. But since the war, it has become as busy as an arterial road. Quite apart from the usual sea traffic, it has three ferries carrying 2,000 cars a day between here and Calais and Boulogne alone. We've talked about travel on road and sea, but just to confuse the issue, we should mention that the ferries are operated by British Railways, and her newest ship, the SS Maid of Kent, was in fact built under the Transport Commission's modernization plan. A cross between a pocket liner and a floating garage, she does the crossing in an hour and a half. Although it might be cheating a little to write heading your card somewhere at sea, the crossing certainly comes under the category of an abbreviated pleasure cruise. The Maid of Kent alone carries a thousand passengers as well as 190 cars. The channel being a little more unpredictable than, say, the Mediterranean, the ship has ample accommodation under cover too. As a matter of interest, you'll notice a car ferry goes in stern first. That's because the cars, on entering the ship, drive right round to face the entrance again. In cases where it's difficult to maneuver a vehicle, perhaps a car and caravan, there's an additional power-operated turntable. The moment the ramps are down, the cars move out onto French soil. From now on, they'll be driving on the right or wrong side. Scenes like this illustrate how far the service has come since 1931, when the first auto carrier, as it was called then, was put into operation. In those days, and until after the war, the method was to load the cars onto trains and take the whole train on board. In 1953, the Dover Harbour Board's new car ferry terminal, with its simplified embarking techniques, signalled the arrival of a new era in modern transport.